Welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stu Penders. <laughs> so today, uh, <laughs> so this is my second round of the of the morning. Uh, my last round, I had uh, um, it, was, it was a pretty good round. So I had a challenge over the weekend from uh, Don Wells. He's a he's a longtime subscriber of mine. He said, he said, let's see if he can stay alive long enough to get ten full shots in with a Fujin. Uh, dealing a million damage and so um, it's going to be very hard to do because the Fujin once it uh, gets into engagement position it has a hard time backing out of engagement position so uh, basically I'll have to go after the, the sick and the weak and pick off like one person at a time never overextending myself kind of thing and it's not going to happen on this map I can almost guarantee that um, we've got these two griffs over here but you know <laughs> that one's a plasma one. The other one, I think I saw he had, uh, I think there's orkins and maybe aphids on there. And so I just, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to happen. So um, the the big thing, like when you're trying to do something like this, like I've, I've done challenges similar to this before. The biggest thing, and we've talked about this a lot kind of recently too, is that you just need to be patient um, when you're playing. And instead of like just going after somebody like, waiting for them to do something and then reacting to them because that'll give you the upper hand especially with something like a griffin because you know once they jump then you've got an airborne target for like seven or like like five to seven seconds um he's going through the air and so you can guarantee that he's just gonna uh you know be going that direction and everything and then once he lands he's gonna buckle so there's a lot that you can count on there let's see if we can finish him right here Oh, did that really not finish him? I was like, I was like waiting for him to die there, and it was just like wasn't happening. Hey, there's the aphids. Okay, I wasn't sure what was on top there. I thought it was aphids when I saw him from further back. But yeah, this is definitely not gonna be one of those million damage rounds. Like, if if I'm gonna get that, that's probably gonna be on uh, power plant or dead city, most likely on power plant though. So, I guess we'll see what happens. I was just I was just letting my shield charge up there just for a second, so I have a little bit more to work with. No, not Nora comes. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, so probably not going to happen this round, but I've got a couple other subscriber requests in right now. I've got my Griffin with aphids and uh, hydras on, um, which is, I reviewed it initially like months and months back, and I don't know, I, I've actually grown uh, kind of fond of that setup. It's actually, I've, I've made it work uh, pretty well for myself in a lot of different circumstances, a lot of different rounds there. Let's uh, get out of the open here. <laughs> My shield is good, but it, it, this this cover right here is way better than my shield. Okay, so let's get out of that guy's line of sight. We'll pop my shield right here to recharge. And then, uh, oh, yeah, it's not recharging. It's just getting hit. Better than me getting hit, though. Should be able to take this guy out, but then uh, I'm not going to be long for the world after this. Um, and then, all right, so here's this guy here. He's going to take me out, but I should be able to deal some okay damage to him before I go down. There we go. Okay, we took him down maybe like a fifth of his health, between a, a fifth and a quarter. His health. <laughs> health. All right, so let's uh, let's roll out in the griffin now. Well, uh, we should be able to take this guy out right here with the um, with the hydras. Oh, nice. We've got a we've got a friendly sniping at him too, so that's really good. Ooh, do you see those hydras just miss? I've actually never seen that happen. They just uh, they just swung up at him. Never had that happen to me before. Oh, hey, Fujin. So let's just uh, let's stay back from this guy. We'll just keep forcing him to pop his shield and stand still. And hopefully my sniper buddy can get an angle on him. I'm, I think he might be just past the bridge. He, so I don't know if he'll have an angle or not. Oh, nice. And we got another Griff buddy here too. So, um, and then yeah, Gareth is another one that, that you guys wanted to see a little bit more of. So I've got him in right now too. And I was thinking about it and... So I've got a sore throat right now, and so like if I start coughing and stuff, I apologize. Maybe I just won't post this because I don't want to be gross. But um, there's an old subscriber request from like months back, um, like when I do the when I do the movie voice. Someone requested that I do an entire round with the movie voice, and I was like, oh, that'd be perfect. Like when I have a sore throat, except it's quite taxing on my throat, so I'll probably start coughing like right away. So. Um, maybe we'll maybe we'll think about doing that like in the future like I'll get up like really early one morning so that my movie voice is better <laughs> or my movie trailer voice is better and maybe we'll try to record a whole round let me let me know if you guys would like to see that if you'd like to see an entire round of me talking like this 
First I dropped the aphids, and then the hydras, and then I got shot in the face with tridents. If you want to see a whole round with me talking like an idiot, um, <laughs> then uh, drop a comment below and, uh, and let me know that you'd like to see that. We'll attempt doing that for you. So, um, but anyways, yeah, so just uh, keep, me, keep me posted on that if that's something you guys would like to see. Um, that'd be fun. We should, uh, we should totally do it. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so let's get back into the round here, shall we? Let's get back into the round. All right, so this, uh, oh, nice, his Ansel just busted off, so let's target this guy. He should go down right there. Okay, there we go. And then, all right, so we've got a Rhino. I'm just gonna, I just moved back a couple steps so that I could get behind the smokestack if I needed to. He should go down there, I think. Oh, barely, <laughs> barely. He's got the couscous grain amount of health going on right now. All right, this should be it right here. There we go. All right. Okay. So we got a patent aphids coming up over here. Times New Roman. Nice. Named after a font. I love it. All right. So this guy. So with the Griffin, um, I've got my jump saved up here. So I'm gonna wait until he fires, and then I'll use my jump to uh, to get out of the way. So and you see with the way the aphids have changed, like they'll actually catch up to you while you're jumping backwards. Um, they would. They could still do that before if you were close enough, but I was I was pretty far like out of his or you know at the edge of his range and stuff, and so um, before like the aphids got got changed around. Um, I guess you could call it a nerf. I, I think they just got. I think a rebalancing really actually is a better name for it. But um, but yeah, since then uh, when you're jumping straight backwards, they'll actually catch up to you and, and catch your legs if you're in a griffin. So you can't just like do that anymore. So. Luckily, this guy's not facing us, so he's going to eat all those aphids. Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> so, oh, dang it, I, I got hung up on this building. I'm totally going to get taken out. I shouldn't have been. That, that, that was dumb. I should have been a little bit more uh, spatially aware there. I think we could have made that griff last a bit longer. So, man, I'm, I'm like trying so hard not to cough. <laughs> uh, I've been sick for the last like several days. Uh, and like I've like with work and everything like that, it's just been... Like, I haven't had, like, any time. Like, last week I worked, like, 60 hours, and, like, a couple of those were, like, like pretty long, like, 12-hour days and stuff, and I was, yeah, feeling like garbage. So, oh, this is perfect. So we've got this building to block a good chunk of that thunder, and then, uh, that guy got hung up there, so he's just taking, uh, taking straight damage there for a bit. All right. So, let's, uh, let's sneak over here. He's staying behind cover, so I want to switch to this Lancelot. We'll just take him out really quick, because I don't like him standing down there. All right, he's just one more thing to worry about. So you want to, just trying to clear distractions out of the way kind of thing. So this guy, he should go down right here. Um, he's just kind of stuck there or standing there. So, all right, there we go. So we took him down. <laughs> I just realized we've run all kind of weird stuff uh, this round. So the Fujin, like, I guess that's not too weird, but yeah, we ran the Fujin. I guess you, you don't see it too much on my channel. And then we had the aphid, uh, <laughs> the aphid hydrogriff. And then we've got uh, this Gareth here. So I'm just trying to make sure. So that guy, he's got Zeus, so I'm not worried about him. I'm just worried about the Fury across the way there. Um, so yeah, he's looking at us right now. So I'm going to see if we can tempt him to shoot. And then I'm going to jump out of the way. All right, so it looks like we did get him to shoot. All right. And then I'm trying to figure out the best way to engage. I think if I move this way, I'll have more options for cover, uh, you know, from getting out of the way of line of sight from that Fury. And, yeah, so maybe we'll try to use this here for a second, because he should be, yeah, firing. <laughs> and, all right, so let's just move in. We'll, we'll probably get taken out by the Fury there, but let's just move in, and we'll uh, we'll take out this guy. We'll use these shipping crates right in front of me. They'll, they hopefully will block some of the tridents there. Oh, the tridents just cruised right over top of those, so that didn't even do anything. So, all right, well, let's take this guy out at least. And then, because this is, this is kind of a close game, we're actually out of almost out of time. I didn't even realize, I've just been chatting with you guys. I didn't realize how close we were here. All right, so jump into Galahad here. It looks like that Ancelot on my team, he should be able to take that beacon over there. Um, and then, yeah, that should be game. I think it'll be game anyways. I don't know, just looking at the beacon bar right now, it's still pretty close, even with us holding three beacons. Okay, yeah, we should be good then. Oh, and, and they're all out of mechs. Let's see if any of them come back. It looks like that might be game. I, I wonder which one will win. Will it be the timer? Will it be the beacon bar? 
or will it be that we mech them out? <laughs> okay, it looks like the timer won. <laughs> There's like three different ways we could have won right there. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So anyways, if you guys like the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button to show your support for the channel. Uh, Don, I will keep working on that. I think it's going to take me a little while. I haven't been able to play too much lately, so um, I'll just keep playing like whenever I can and everything, and we'll see if we can get that done for you. So, um, But anyways, yeah, so we'll, we'll keep doing all the subscriber requests. Um, and yeah, keep dropping comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see. I do have a long list right now, so I'll just keep cracking through those. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day.